Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you have been a subscriber of mine, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've actually, since I've uploaded a video. So this is just super exciting for me because I have been wanting to film more YouTube videos for so freaking long. You have no idea. And right now I am sitting in the Dutch Bros line and I um, just remembered I gotta get something out of my purse. But today is the first day of fall. Happy fall, y'all. I, I love fall. I don't know if y'all are like me or whatnot, but I feel like the girls who love the spooky bitches out there like me, uh, just f when fall time comes around, we just get a little bit more like giddy. You know what I mean? Um, so very happy and it's so funny I didn't even know today was the first day of fall till my best friend Brittany posted something on Facebook and I am wearing my the boys of fall shirt um just because like I said fall season comes around it's just like all things spooky to me like but I love when the trees start changing colors I love um Halloween and let's see if the thing I was looking for is in here. It sure is. So I was, so I've been pondering making this video because I was like, I'm gonna wait till I'm all dolled up and I'm wearing something super cute and I can sit downstairs in my new office that I'm still working on setting up. Um, but I'm like, that's gonna probably be a little while from now because my life is just pretty freaking busy. And I'm like, I'm sitting here in this Dutch Bros line. The line is super long why not just film a little life update and then also film a little giveaway which I'll talk about in just a minute and then also do a little Halloween decorating at my house so if y'all are interested in all of that then just keep watching okay so I'm excited about this drink I always get the caramel not always but during the fall time if I come here I get the caramel pumpkin brulee iced and I get it extra sweet, which I totally shouldn't, but yum. Okay, so a very quick life update because this video can go on for hours and hours. And I know a lot of y'all's attention span and pretty much every human's attention span is like this compared to like this. And I do love filming long videos and I still plan to do that. Uh, but if you guys have noticed, I have been doing a lot more shorts lately on my video, on my channel, which if you haven't watched any of those, definitely go check out my, the shorts section. Cause you have like videos and then shorts and shorts are only like, can only be a minute long. So I've been doing those, but I'm super excited to start even vlogging and stuff like that. Cause me personally, like an OG YouTuber, like started you doing YouTube in the beginning stages. Um, of YouTube and all that of when it got popular um, the vlogs and stuff are like my absolute favorite to watch so again life update let's just sum this up uh, I now officially have dreads I love it so freaking much we'll be doing a whole video um, just showing that for you guys I have a lady next to me um, that's you know staring at me because I'm filming and I'm just like so hyped for you guys but um, I <laughs> like whatever so I will show you all a whole video about my dreads um, in a few videos to come of course it'll probably be something to talk about a lot because I freaking love them and I just feel more me but um, health update wise if you guys have not seen like I said my shorts video I was talking about how I've dealt with a lot of cramping it's been about a year and a half and the cramping has been like every single day and my bloating in my stomach just did not seem normal so I finally got laparoscopic surgery done and I was diagnosed with endometriosis yay and if you don't know what that is again I will be doing tons of videos um, on bringing awareness to that and I'm just wanting to learn to be happy in my body you know I deal with anxiety depression I go to therapy weekly and a lot has just changed with me mentally and physically 
which like I said, we will go into on a separate video. Um, and now I have high blood pressure as well. So I'm dealing with that as well. So it's been a lot. Um, but I'm going to be starting Weight Watchers soon, which I'm very excited about going back to the gym more frequently. And I got to lower this blood, blood pressure. I want to lose some weight and just start being feeling more comfortable in my body showing you guys my fun and funky style and i've just realized the last like matt so my fiance and i and my son we moved into we bought a house the end of august of last year so we've been in the house for over a year now that's pretty much why i have not filmed a lot because i have been really wanting to get the house set up and it's finally getting there which I'm so excited about my office is almost done I just have this really pretty pink wall that I want to do like a collage full of really fun stuff and that will be another video you guys get to watch me decorate that so that's gonna be freaking awesome I have a handful of giveaways and stuff that I want to do because I've been collecting some stuff up to give away because I know there's a lot of silent viewers who watch my stuff but I do want to gain a bigger like following and just be able to reach out and help other people that might be dealing with you know I have body dysmorphia as well things like that so just you know my glasses need to be tightened because they keep falling um but yeah just just supporting other women supporting men even if that if they're having body issues so I'm just excited for all of that but um I'm about to get my drink so I'll be right back all right drink secured it's definitely I'm, I'm, I'm sad it tastes freaking good thank goodness because I asked for extra sweet but I freaking love when they put the pumpkin pumpkin drizzle around the cup that is just the best um, the best part about this drink and I asked him for extra extra <laughs> And there is none. Get it together, Dutch. You're lucky that this drink is freaking good. Um, I'm not much. I don't. I don't like complaining, you know. But I will if it's terrible. Anyway, y'all might be a little shaky, which I apologize. But yum. Cheers to fall. Cheers to fall, y'all. So freaking good. Okay, so I'm gonna pay attention to the road and talk with y'all. But yes, so many things, um, not much, but there's a few things left around the house that I wanna get done because I feel like we all know if you move into a new place, it takes a while to get situated, especially if you buy a house and you plan on being in there the rest of your life. But I feel like there's always going to be um, more things to do, you know what I mean? Especially with buying a house. So, and my son Hunter is in kindergarten now, which is such a new experience and it's so amazing and I absolutely love it. But yeah, that's pretty much it, my life update. I know I've been talking forever, but we're gonna go ahead and do, cause I got my Dutch. I'm gonna tell y'all the little giveaway I'm about to sneeze a Dutch Bros giveaway. So a $10 Dutch Bros card, gift card. If you have a Dutch Bros in your state or if you know a someone you know someone that loves Dutch Bros, you can enter this giveaway to win this for them. Um, this is going to be um, US only and because I've done international giveaways before and it was just such a pain in the butt and the person it was like so much for shipping and then the person ended up not getting it and it was it was just a lot I'm a small youtuber here I don't make a lot of money doing this and eventually if I do maybe I'll be able to do more international giveaways but yeah so for now US only apologize US or Canada I don't know if Canada has Dutch so I yeah, super excited to, again, finally do a giveaway. It's been a while. If you want to win this $10 Dutch Bros gift card, um, comment down below. I know I always say this, um, 
and I always ask this question um, because, but I'm just always curious, but answer down below how you found my YouTube channel. And if you don't remember, then you can comment your favorite Dutch Bros or Starbucks drink down below. Um, yeah, if you guys have any video requests that you want me to do, let me know and I can make that happen for you. I am excited to be back. We are headed home now and I am going to do some Halloween decorating and then in my next video I will show you how all the decorations turned out and what the uh, Halloween decorations that I put up this year are. Matt and I definitely want to be one of the houses that have like the coolest Halloween decorations but you know I definitely need to make a start a little budget for that and like start saving for next year because Halloween stuff is expensive but we got a cute little collection going so far and I do have to put a few more things out in the yard so maybe I'll film myself doing that part as well yeah I will see y'all when I get home all right, so I made it home to set the ambiance. I love, this is just a thing that I've been recently doing and I love it. I don't know why I haven't been doing it way more often, but I like to put like a cute little seasonal background on my TV while I listen to um, a podcast or listen to some music in the background. And I thought this one was perfect for Halloween. You can just go on YouTube and just type in like spooky or Halloween live backgrounds or something like that. So here are all my couch pillows. I have tons of them. I love having tons of pillows on my couch. They're just so cozy. Here are all the um, pillowcases that I'm going to be putting on them. I got all this, the ones that you're seeing me pull off and the spooky ones are all ones that I got from either Timu or Shein. So definitely go on there to get pillowcases it's even way cheaper than Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this to every single one of them and then we will do my tree. Do you know where secrets go? Cause I've forgotten mine. They've slipped out of my control and you know where they hide. Mm. Your love's a little heavy. You're touching me already and it's working up my nerves. You should probably forget me cause I'm terrified you'll get me when I'm at my worst It's not too late to let you know that you're in love with a ghost So Run! Sweeter things and back to me you'd crawl Up it to your love for strings But it's not love at all My ego's still provided I'm not the one who's driving But I can't find the brakes Yeah A girl, there's no denying That even though I'm trying I'm your next mistake I'm falling deep You should take me at my word
so I am going to show y'all our Halloween decorations for behind the TV, our living room area where we sit and watch spooky movies and just hang out. Um, not all, we don't watch spooky movies obviously all the time. But yeah, I decorated the tree with y'all and then I have a area over in the dining room section that I de decorated, but I still have to organize all of my, like my drinking area, my coffee area, because I'm going to be doing something new. So I'm just going to show you guys that in this video, and then I will show you all the rest of the Halloween decorations in my next video. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm back here is right behind our big TV. So I just put this little spooky cloth up that I got from Marshalls. I love how it's glittery. And then we have the um, like spooky wooden house. It does glow in the dark. I'll show y'all everything uh, in the next video of what all this stuff looks like when it's dark out. Maybe I'll actually add it to this video too. But yeah, I got a little skull and my studded pumpkin that I've had for a while. It's the Velcro, so it gets stuff on there a lot. That's mainly it for this. And then when we walk over here, dining room, which I'll show you. But again, here is the couch. That's my sweet little smoky girl. So as you saw, I put all these super cute pillows, um, the pillowcases on the couch. I love you. I got these, like I mentioned, from Timo in um, Shein. And then here is our coffee table. It actually lifts up, which is so cool. Down here, I put a glittered pumpkin and then the sign that says spooky. And then I got this from Target. Hunter picked it out. So I thought that was super fun. Um, I'm sure the daycare kids will love it. Got this cute guy. He does light up as well. I got this from TJ Maxx. And then my moss pumpkin. My black kitty. My sweet black kitty. And here is the Halloween tree, which I love. So... My fiance and my son are really big on Halloween, so we are actually going to keep this tree up all year round. And I feel like I'll just, you know, here and there switch out the ornaments. You want lovins? She wants to say hi. I will switch out the ornaments on the tree for different seasons. Like, of course, keep some spooky stuff on there, but, uh, you know, when Christmas comes, I can make some fun spooky Santas and stuff like that. But I got these, like I probably already mentioned, this was gifted to me as well as that one down here. Um, you guys did not see, but I added these cute little jack-o'-lantern things, um, little bowls from, I added the orange ones and the green ones to give it more of a pop of color. Got those from the dollar store. And then got little Mr. Ghost up there. And then below, I have a pumpkin, a ghost, and another pumpkin. These pumpkins right here were painted. That was painted from Hunter. This one, all of the black and the green was painted by Matt. And then he left to play D&D with his friends, and I painted the face, which is cracking me up because I have no artistic ability. So it's creepy. It's so ugly that it's creepy, you know? And then um, on the fireplace, which I cannot wait to start turning that on, um, I have this pretty gorgeous wreath right here that my twin sister found for me. I've been, I looked for one for so long like this, and she found one for me from Michael's like a few years back, and it is just stunning. Sorry, my cat is wanting attention. I put the bats on the wall. Some of them are just the plain black ones. And then some have the super cute designs on them. And then here on top of the mantle, nothing too fancy. Just a few of my favorite pieces. Happy hunting to all and to all a good fright. 
this right here has to be one of my all-time favorite decorations that I have because it goes with Halloween and Christmas and I love it. I'm pretty sure I have another one. I just can't freaking find it. So I'm hoping I find it. Um, and it's got a fuzzy. Just now noticing that. And then there's another fuzzy down here. Um, this little, is an egg, not an acorn, um, pine cone hunter got. So I just put that up there. He found it. This cute little house. I can't remember where I got this from. Oh uh, yeah, I got this from uh, Michael's a few years back. I just love it and it does light up as well. And then the skeleton hand with the black crow. And then down here, I just made the cats, like we have the litter box right there. So I wanted to put some cute decorative pieces in there. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Um, so that was it for that area. Then over here, we have all of the ghosts, which of course are, you know, their faces are going, they keep, they keep moving. So anyway, I got those from the dollar store. They're super freaking cute. I love their little faces. There you go. You can see that. And then our dining room table. This is really easy to use when the kids sit. When I, I do a home daycare, so when the kids sit up here and eat lunch, this is very easy to wipe off. I have Mrs. Granny Gnome right there and a pumpkin and some pumpkin lights. So darn cute. And then, like I said, I have to organize all of this, but I added some spooky decor to the wall. And then we put some a spider and then like somewhat of the webbing or whatever you call it. And... Yeah, that is it for this part of the video. Get off the count, get off the table, kitty. I am still drinking my drink. So freaking good. Remember, you can win that $10 Dutch Bros coupon. Just follow the rules that I said in earlier parts of this video. Um, and you can win that. I will choose the winner. How about October 15th? Let's just do, let's do October 15th. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. My sister is going to be here soon and we're going to go see Nun 2, which I'll have to let you guys know in another video if it's good or not. Um, I feel like it's going to be pretty creepy. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to be back. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.